other characters as well that, that you've done. Um, if, some, if some parts of your character are, more, are harder to do than others. Well, you know what's funny? Just uh, like just a handful of episodes into the recording process, Caitlin, it may have even been the very first episode. Caitlin, we were recording and Caitlin just, all of a sudden we stopped and Caitlin said, do you know what just occurred to me? And I said, what? And she said, Tamaki is kind of a mixture of three other characters that you have played. Yes. He is romantic like Dark Mousy. <laughs> but then he's very intelligent and articulate like Phi Fluoride. <laughs> and then of course he spazzes out all the time like Ed does. <laughs> so so um, I thought, wow, she's right. <laughs> he's a kook. But um, yeah, and you know, the yelling stuff, as you can hear, the yelling stuff is, is hard to do, it's fun to do. I wish I had a stronger voice to do it, but um, that's the hardest stuff to do. But it, it was a blast playing somebody who was like so, what's the word, bipolar? I think tripolar. <laughs> Brad's has an extensive range to him. Yeah, oh yeah, I mean, you never know which, I mean, every time, every five minutes, you know, we'd come to another scene and he's sitting in the corner making a hamster home. You know, and then the next minute, you know, he's jumped up with stars in his eyes and he's all excited. I mean, I just, he was just a dream of a character to play. Yeah, you know, the range of emotions that Maury goes through is just, <laughs> he's such a complex character. That's why I had to cast you, Travis. I know, I know. <laughs> I'm a cesspool of emotion. <laughs> no, it was not hard. Hmm, tuna, meat skinny, don't do that, cake. It's like, that give me world. happy. Mm. <laughs> give me sad. Mm. <laughs> I, told, I told Caitlin, actually, I was like, you know, if you just have me in here and we just roll and I give you 30 different, mm, I won't ever have to come in ever again. In fact, I think I may have said more in the DVD blooper outtakes than I did in the show. <laughs> it's quite possible. <laughs> I do know that when we had to record uh, episode 18, where you talk a lot, it's yeah. like pages of him monologuing about, I've known Mitsukuni since blah de blah de blah blah blah. <laughs> and I think you're almost having a hard time speaking because you didn't really have to. Yeah. I was it's like, like oh. I have to put more than five words together. <laughs> I have to talk now, boo. <laughs> I can just have, I can eat in the booth. Normally, you know, you don't drink anything except like water, you don't eat anything because it makes you all clicky. And normally with Maury, I could just eat a pasta dinner and not have a problem. <laughs> I'm good, crab. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That would be a great game. Like, pick out different Travis, mm, and guess what he was eating at the time. <laughs> oh, that's teriyaki. <laughs> I hear spam. They like with, spam here in With Hawaii. just a touch of egg. Now that it make me eat it, I grew up eating it. So. Um, I'd say for Haruhi, I worked so hard to get into that lower register and let it be comfortable and get to show all of the emotions that she shows. She's not a very emotional person. I hated having to be cute and girly as Haruhi. I couldn't stand it. I hated it. There's a blooper of me going, I don't want to be a girl. I want to sound like a boy. Um, it just, because it's so not like her that I didn't like those moments. I laugh at them now, but I remember recording them and just laugh. I don't like this. I think that's it. I think we okay. all answered Thank the you. question. Mm -hmm.